Okay, <clears throat> I'm logged on to the computer system. So the, the way to do it is to, to start in um, advanced options is you want to go to the right and then you want to go to settings, click on settings and on settings what you want to do is you want to go into uh, change PC settings. If you notice that, that's right there. So you click on that and then it's going to take you to uh, PC settings. All right, now you're going to go into general options. So we're going to go into general options. Okay, click here. Notice that the first thing on here is time. Excuse if I move the camera too much, but I'm doing this on my by myself again. So, okay, if you go all the way down, scroll down all the way to the bottom, and the very thing, the very last thing on there under PC settings is advanced startup okay so what you want to do is you want to click on restart uh, so you want to put the mouse right over it and click restart now it says please wait so it's going to restart in advance and now the system booted back up and now you if you notice it has the different um, options turn off your pc uh, continue to continue and exit you press this if you want to go directly into your operating system and uh, bypass the advanced options. What we want to do is we want to actually go into uh, troubleshoot. Okay, once we go into troubleshoot, uh, you have refresh your PC, reset your PC, recovery manager. This is what you would use to recover it from your manufacturer uh, to manufacturer's default. Uh, kind of like uh, going to in uh, Windows 7, Windows Vista, going to advance and repair this uh, PC. So this is basically what you would where you would go into. Uh, what well, we want to go into, and we want to go into advanced options to start in safe mode. So we'll click here, and on here is going to give you system restore to restore it back to previous state, system image recovery, recover Windows using specific system image, automatic repair. What we want to do is we actually want to go into startup settings here. Um, we have a video for the UEFI firmware settings to change it, but uh, we're in this video we're concentrating on, the, on the starting a safe mode. So click on startup settings here. Okay, once you're here, um, if you notice, it's telling you to enable debugging mode, enable safe boot. Uh, safe mode disable signature so notice that uh, so what you want to do now is if you wanted to start up in this mode you go back here and you just click on this button and restart and we just wait for it to restart and you're gonna see something familiar uh, once it restarts so again this is for the uh, pavilion G7 Okay, notice now we have the startup options here. We have nine. Does that look familiar now? So enable boot login, enable low resolution video. If you have a video issue, you would want to go with that. Enable safe mode. So you have, um, so what we're going to do is we want to go into safe mode. So we want to press uh, option four. So press four and now it should come up in safe mode.